What's up everybody, my name is Vince, welcome to the channel, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a follow-up about pencils, carpenter's pencils. A couple things about them, and it's coming right up. You know what's a real cool fact? That a lot of the viewers from our previous video over here, wanted you to know about that these carpenter's pencils, okay, even this mechanical carpenter's pencil is actually a quarter inch thick, almost exactly, pretty much exactly. It's a quarter inch thick. So it could be used for things like spacers. So we just wanted to confirm for you, because everybody's like, no way. Way, way. Look at that. They wanted you to know it's exactly a quarter of an inch could be used for things like spacers. See that? And the funny thing is, is that this mechanical pencil is the same size as a traditional carpenter's pencil. So you'll see that they can be used as spacers because this is also exactly a quarter of an inch, just like the viewers left in the comment section. See that? We have our tape measure here. As you can see, our commenters wanted us to let you know about this nifty little trick because we seem to have made a mistake and not included it in our previous video. And as you can see, we have this, this skill saw, this pencil from skill saw. This also makes a great spacer at exactly a quarter of an inch. We have this Irwin straight line. I mean, who thought pencils were just for writing? We use these for fine measurement as well. I mean, we could all throw away our rulers. I'm gonna show you a hack in a second. Exactly a quarter of an inch. Now, on to the main subject of today's video, the writing with the pencils, okay? The making marks. And how do you do that? Okay, it's by making sure you always have a sharp pencil. Okay? I will say this, some viewers did share with me something I was unaware of or unaware with. And that's my always sharp pencils that I've been using for years and years and years. I didn't realize that the lead was reversible, but every time I try to reverse the lead, it seems like the lead becomes very loose and then falls out. So I, I've never really reversed the lead, but it looks viable. So I appreciate everybody sharing that tip with me. Here's the deal. If you're buying your pencils, like this 10 pack from the Home Depot, you actually, get in the pack, it's called the VersaSharp sharpener. So what happens is you just sharpen your carpenter's pencil, you sharpen it down, and you get that fine point. It, it feels pretty sturdy, I'll, I'll tell you that much, like the lead won't snap. I mean, is it horrible? No. Sharpens your pencil, it seems pretty robust, the point, I'm pushing down pretty hard. I just feel like on the job site, you're gonna lose this lid. And the next thing you know, your pencils are all over the place and you lose your sharpener. This thing's gone and then you can't find your pencil. Where's my pencil sharpener? The reality is, is that you probably, okay, should learn how to properly sharpen one of these pencils without a pencil sharpener. Quite frankly, I think that if you learn to properly sharpen one of these pencils, without this sharpener, you might even get a better, finer, and more durable tip. So, what do you need to sharpen the pencil? You need a utility knife. We happen to have one here. The other thing that you need is a nice, sharp blade. And all you're gonna do is, you're gonna start whittling down the tip, okay? And I, I like to take it easy. You're gonna do your flat sides first, okay? Now, depending on what type of work you're doing. You can come in a little bit steeper here at the back and then expose the lead a little more. And you could also whittle down the lead so that you get a finer tip. I'm gonna whittle that wood away. We're gonna whittle away on our wood. We're gonna expose our tip. We're then going to come in on our corners, okay? We're gonna whittle them away as well. 
Okay, and we're going to take off a little bit at a time. Okay. We want, we want to take away those corners, but we want to make sure we have a stable piece of graphite to write with. We're just whittling away on our wood. We're exposing our tip. We have a nice, sharp carpenter's pencil to write with. Look at that. That tip is almost, it's going to be more durable than, than this tip. And it's almost as fine. Carpenter's pencil, sharpened with the knife. And this is the carpenter's pencil sharpened with the sharpener. Now, if we wanted to have our tip just as sharp, we just come in a little bit further back and we whittle down on our graphite. We're gonna sharpen that graphite up. We're sharpening from the back part of the graphite because we wanna be able to make a consistent mark for a while. The more you sharpen back, it could make the, the, the graphite a little more fragile, okay? But you'll have consistent marks over time. Now that we've sharpened down our graphite, look, look how fine that mark is. So you can do fine marking with a carpenter's pencil if you sharpen it correctly. Here's with our Versa sharpener. Here's with our carpenter's pencil. Pretty amazing. I will say this though. Once you lose the sharpener, you're gonna wanna learn. You're gonna wanna, you're gonna wish you learned how to sharpen your pencil correctly. Let's just say you were really like down on your luck, okay? And you couldn't afford a tape measure. Another great hack would be to not use a tape measure. All you gotta do is get four of these, these pencils. I mean, basically, they're free. You can go to lumber yard, whatever, get four of them, stack them together. You have exactly an inch because the pencils are exactly a quarter inch. They're great for spacers, okay? And then what you do is, if you needed to measure, measure something, all you'd have to do is mark here, boom, okay? And mark here. Okay. Now, be careful. If you don't sharpen your pencil sharp enough, what happens is, your line could become too fat. Say you needed to make a measurement three inches. You have to move the pencil stack twice, right? One, two, three inches. The problem is, is that if your pencil mark's too fat, you'll get what's called a compounding error. You don't want that. And as you can see, and we could use a tape measure, but we'll use our calipers. See, we have exactly three inches. If we measure the single, a single stack of pencils, you'll see we have exactly an inch. So long story short, these aren't a quarter inch. With that, I wanna say I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're gonna get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet? Well, smash this button here. After that, watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.